Hi, welcome to Join the Dog Mom. Today's video is going to be about how it is to be the dog mom of a French Bulldog and a Dalmatian in combination together. <laughs> so as most of you know, I have a Dalmatian, it's Frida, and I have a French Bulldog, it's Grimnia. And these breeds are really, really different from one another. Um, started with Frida, she's a Dalmatian and Dalmatians are known for being very active, being very fast and very um, self-employed. So she knows what she wants and she can go alone. She doesn't need me for her walk. She walks on her own and she enjoys that. And French Bulldogs are more chubby little puppies that love to cuddle the whole time that don't want to be active like not really that don't like to walk and that like to eat and cuddle the whole day so these breeds are really really different from one another and to tell the story of how I came to these dogs I try to make it short I got Frida when I was seven, 17 years old she was four months when we got her we got her from a breeder who breeds Dalmatian and she was so beautiful i fell in love with her when i first saw her picture i called the breeder and i was like please is she still there i really want her and so we got there and i got her and i was so happy to have company to have a dog i love dogs <laughs> so i walked with her for hours everywhere and we really enjoyed it it was it was really beautiful and now when we got her for seven years, we decided that it was time to get another one to become kind of a of a pack. So now we are a pack. We are four. <laughs> yeah, so we decided that we need another one. But we knew we could not get another big one because my strength is not, <laughs> not enough to hold both of these big dogs if they want to run so we got to get a little one but we couldn't get a, an excited little one because Frida hates when there's too much tension in the air so we needed a relaxed breed and my boyfriend loves French Bulldogs so we decided okay let's get a French Bulldog and we got him from a sanctuary from a rescue organization who rescues French Bulldogs from breeders that use the dogs just for breeding so they don't see anything, they don't get any love, they are in their cages when they are not breeding. And we rescued him from there and we fell in love with him immediately. He was so cute, so chubby, so nice, such a nice friendly little boy. And we said, okay, this, this fits to our family. And now he's here and we don't regret it, really not at all. He's just, he's just so friendly and so chubby and so lovely. He loves to cuddle the whole day and he also has its own mind, but he's easier to control already just because of his size. So <laughs> yeah, so we really, we really love them both. And that's the story, how we, how we got them, how we did it to get along with them both. So first of all, Frida loves to run, she loves to be free, she loves to be in nature, she loves to explore new things. And Grimnia loves to sleep and to eat. So we decided that we will try to fit our everyday life in both of our dogs' favorite things. So we go on a long walk in the morning with Frida and Grimnia for about one hour. And we walk through the forest, we, we play games and let them sniff on the floor for some food we, we throw there, of course. So they are training their mind a little bit. And after this long walk in the morning, there's a small walk in the middle of the day where they both get the chance to be and all the stuff just around the block. And in the evening, it depends on the weather, we will have a long walk or another very short walk because if it's too hot then both dogs really don't want to walk and he doesn't get air 
so he can't breathe anymore when it's too hot because the French Bulldog is a broken breed. As many of you know, you can Google it, they, they can't breathe very well. So if it's too hot, they overheat, the bodies overheat and they can die because of it. So we are very careful when walking outside and the sun is out and if it's too hot, we go home again because he cannot cool down his body. In general, <laughs> it's very funny to live with these breeds together because Frida is very independent, independent is the word, and she likes to sleep alone, she likes to sleep on her own, maybe in another room than I am in, and Grimnir is always with me. He's always behind me, he follows me everywhere, no matter where I go. He loves to be with his human, so a French Bulldog is very, very close to his human all the time, while a Dalmatian is very independent, a very active dog that loves to run. But anyway, we love them both very, very much. They are beautiful dogs. It's a beautiful breed. Both of them are so special. And it is so beautiful to live with both of them because Grimnir gets me down. He's very calm and he doesn't need that much exercise. So he calms me down. He calms Frida down. And Frida is a very active dog. So if I need to go out, if I need to run and I don't want to do it alone, I want to have company, I take her with me. And she's always happy about it. So I have like fire and water, like calm and like a lot of energy, both combined and they they really work pretty good together, even if it's a challenge every day <laughs> to get both happy because sometimes Frida doesn't get her super long, super extra, extra exciting walks and sometimes he doesn't get his days where he can chill the whole day. So it's kind of a challenge and I wouldn't, I really would not have recommended to do it if you don't have any experience, experience with dogs, if you don't have any experiment sorry <laughs> if you don't have any exper experience with dogs then get a French Bulldog because they are actually pretty easy to handle as they really want to please their human while a uh, Dalmatian is very active and very independent as I said so she has her own mind and she knows what she wants and you have to get along with this so that's actually all I have to say I think I think it might be cool to make a video about each of them for their own so that every one of them has their own video that you can get to know them a little bit better so i really hope you liked this video i really hope it wasn't too boring i really hope it was some kind of enjoyable <laughs> And thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, then please give me some kind of thing, a subscribe or a comment or something. I would really love that. And have a beautiful day. Enjoy yourselves. Go outside. Enjoy the sun. Walk with your beautiful dogs. And see you soon. Bye.